being able to get out for an entire month to do all this is really kind of almost a once in a lifetime thing, I think. So it's, it's pretty exciting. I really want to take a look at how big and amazing the trail is, but then all of the little details that people just don't get to see. Because of the amount of snow, because of the amount of water flow, we're getting to see something that over the last maybe seven or eight years, JMT hikers haven't had the opportunity to see. This isn't Everest, this isn't some insane, crazy eight month adventure, but you know, it's a month and it's hard. All of a sudden your pack doesn't weigh anything and your breathing's fine. It's all about putting one foot very safely in front of the other. There was a couple strikes, I would say at most, two miles off the pass, so that was a little intense. This stuff is not for everybody. Me, Dave, and Jen all bled. You can see mine, it's a pretty vicious looking cut. Just kidding, it wasn't that bad. How far abouts would you say it is, Jen? Oh, about a mile, mile and a half. This is the end of July. We are walking on a beautiful snow field. This is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I put the lid back on the bear bin but didn't screw it tight. These evil no. geniuses managed to open it up. <laughs> Where there is water, there will be swimming. And it's never a bad decision. It's never a bad decision. We have so many things every day that we could be proud of that we did. What more can you ask for? It's an adventure. You keep thinking you've seen the most beautiful thing and then the next day comes and you see something even more beautiful. I really hope they never make it easy to get to this place. You need to earn that view. You need to earn that. There's not a lot of people in the world that are gonna get to experience this. And it's made that much better by the people you decide to be with. Oh, bearded John Muir, epic wanderlust you had, cheers in your honor. <laughs>